and welcome back and today I want to talk about how to play and enjoy your Steam library of games on a network attached storage device. Namely today we're talking about the TerraMaster NAS system, probably one of the most affordable yet quite well featured NAS devices currently available in 2019. Now why would you install your Steam library on a NAS rather than your local PC? Well the main reason is the cost of SSDs. They are not cheap. And if a number of you out there are looking to get some serious storage space that's got some fast media access, you are going to have to spend some money. Now, in the case of a PC, if you are going to utilize an SSD, it's worth remembering that modern games in 2019 and 2020 are not that small. In most cases, a number of these games will go from 30 to 50 to 80 to 100 to 200 and more gigabytes of size. This is the main game, the base files, the cabs, the DLC, the patches, the extras, all the firmware updates and more, all mean that the size of the average game in 2019 and 2020, if you're not looking at mobile games, is massive. I'm talking your Fortnites, your Call of Duties, your Battlefields, your Destinies, your more and more. So. If you do want, say, two terabytes of storage, you're going to have to spend some serious money. And that's a lot of money for what is ostensibly not a huge amount of storage. However, SSDs do present great performance speeds of around three to 500 megabytes per second with SATA speeds. Alternatively, there's hard drives. Now, hard drives are slower at 100 to maybe 110 megabytes per second read, but are a great deal lower in price with both of these drives here being two terabytes in size but with the added benefit here that this drive here is so much cheaper that you could get three of these discs and still spend as much as this one ssd here and those three hard drives although slower once you combine three drives or more in a nas such as a 10 gbe nas the result is speeds of around three to 500 megabytes per second. So you end up spending the same money as that one SSD, but now you get three hard drives. Yes, you have to buy a NAS to put them in, but it does get better. Now with these NAS drives here, all of these have something in common. They either arrive with 10 gigabit ethernet, five gigabit ethernet, or arrive with the ability to upgrade. And that's important you're going to have to utilize increased bandwidth and network speeds in order to play games off of a NAS. Now you will be able to use adapters such as the 10 gigabit ethernet adapter and 5 gigabit ethernet adapter from QNAP but these will allow you to connect your PC or Mac system to a NAS over 10 gigabit ethernet or 5 gigabit ethernet very easily indeed. Now once you've got this all set up you've got your NAS you've got your hard drives all installed let's talk about how to get Steam to recognize this NAS for your Steam library now normally when you purchase games in the Steam library in any one of their million sales or you've bought a game straight off uh, the outlet when it's been released the default library will be on your hard drive but if you log into your TerraMaster NAS, so use the TNAS application that's completely for free and that helps you set up your NAS for the first time, once you log into your NAS here, go into the file manager. And from here, we need to create a new shared folder. And this new shared folder will allow us, I double clicked that by accident, sorry about that. This new shared folder will allow us to create, let's go for that, our new volume there, We'll call this one, let's go for that, a new shared folder. This new folder is where our Steam library is going to live. And from here, we're going to be able to access this folder via the Steam application and play our games from the TerraMaster NAS. So once we've created our new folder here, there's our snapshots there in the background. Once we've created our shared folder on here, we then have to access it via the Steam application. In order to create a shared folder on our TerraMaster NAS to access with Steam, head over to the control panel and from here, select the shared folder option. From here, it will ask you to create a shared folder. Click create here and name your folder Steam Library. 
from here, if you can spell correctly, lol, um, carry on and make sure that the folder is ready and accessible. You can choose to encrypt it, but it's not hugely necessary, as well as the ability to select a recycle bin. From there, click next and say who's going to have access to this folder. It can be you or any of your friends or family. Click next again and it will ask you whether they are allowed to have read and write access, of which you'll say yes. And from here, click create. And now we've created our shared folder on the Terra Master NAS. Next, we want to go back to the TNAS application and refresh that listing. And it will find the NASs on your local area network. The more astute of you may have noticed that there was more than one NAS being listed here on this screen. The reason is because I'm connected to this NAS in two ways, via one gigabit ethernet and via five gigabit ethernet right here. And that gives us increased speeds if we so choose, but don't worry about that for now. Next, we need to select map drive. And if we map our drive, we then have to add our login credentials for this NAS, click OK. And from here, we start to map this drive for Steam. Let's select a letter. I'm going to select the letter S. And then from this, select our Steam library folder that we've just created. Then click Confirm. Configuration is saved. If we close that and then open up the PC application, we will see that the new Steam library folder has arrived. And from here, this is where we can store all of our Steam library. The next thing we need to do is head over to Steam, go to the top, click Steam, scroll down to Settings. And from Settings, we go to Downloads here and then Steam Library Folders. Click Steam Library Folders and then select Add Library Folder. And from here, there'll be a drop down where we can select our drive here and from there we've now got our Steam library. Now it's worth noting that some versions of Steam, I know if you've updated to the latest version you should be fine, require you to create a subfolder. So within this folder you may need to create a new folder within there and just call it anything you like. I'm just going to call it Steam. The reason being that if you try to create the Steam library in the root folder, it won't allow it, and it will need you to select this new subfolder, click select, and now that Steam library on our S drive, our NAS, is now listed as the default directory for our Steam library. And that's it. From this point on, if you purchase a game, a demo, a full game, whatever, it will then download to your TerraMaster NAS. And when you play the game, Although you'll use the CPU, the memory, and the graphics card of your PC, the files, the biggest part of them all, the 30, the 40, the 50, the 100 gig, whatever, as well as the updates, will all be installed on the NAS, meaning that you now don't have to worry about getting those big old SSDs going forward for your Steam library.